About four years ago, we presented here a device for blind people, and uh, it was very exciting. We just came out with it, and we have, by now we have thousands and thousands and thousands of people around the world that uh, use this device to help them in their daily lives. And what we actually did is create technology that helps people with things they have difficulties with. And uh, I'll just show you the device now because uh, I love it. This is, this is the device, and this tiny thing can uh, read to you and recognize faces and, and do a lot of things that people with low vision need. And these are people who have clear disadvantage and they know how to express it. And when we came up with the face recognition feature, one of our customers emailed me and he said, you know, I just installed the new version and you know what I did? I went online, I showed the device, all of my friends, and then I rushed to meet them in real life because I wanted to show them that I can actually recognize them on the street. And we realized that the, there is a common pain point for us as humans to recognize people. And it's quite remarkable because for us humans, we are extremely social creatures. We crave social interactions. And it turns out that our brains are not, uh, have a limited capacity for this. And we thought, how can we create a tool that will help us in our lives to handle our social interactions, which is you know, it's quite uh, big. And we call this device My Me because it helps me as the user. It's something that's for me, and it helps me deal with my actual social interactions. And, uh, and I'll show you a few examples. Now, I think uh, I'll start with a short clip that demonstrates the need to recognize people, and uh, you, many of you might remember this. Do we have sound? There we go. Oh, um, oh my god, I, I just can't remember what his name is. I just saw his name this morning on this. Oh, I know this. It's something to do with... Wait, he was, he was part of it. Oh god, I, I know this. It's, um... It's Ambassador Franklin, and that's the woman that he left his wife for, Rebecca. Rebecca. Ambassador? Miranda. <laughs> So we all have a varied range of uh, number of people we can uh, remember. Some people are very good at this. We call them Steffis and Yossis. But, uh, but most of us, we have a limited capacity. Some have an even lower capacity than normal. It's called uh, the con medical condition called face blindness. Um, and uh, there's an interesting uh, example of, a, of an artist who is face blind and he's doing portraits. His name is uh, Chuck Close. And that's how he does it. He splits the face into small regions and uh, and it's a very intriguing result. But most of us sit somewhere between this range, right? So there's Steffi and Yossi, there's face blindness, and all of us somewhere along this range. Now, many of you here are managers and CEOs of big companies, and, and you manage many more people than you can actually interact with. Because, we, because it turns out there's a very small part of our brain that is actually dedicated for faces, and we all pretty much look alike. And uh, we wanted to help us with this, and how would you do it? How can you help me with a terrible face recognition uh, ability and definitely bad memory? How can you help me interact better with more people? And uh, when you look at it, our short history as a human race in the, uh, definitely the past 20 years of the internet, you can think of all the recent technologies that we got so much used to as helping us with social interactions, right? So the internet was designed to help us connect with people from the other side of the planet. And while at it, we created a lot of online tools that help us interact with each other in a very, very good way, right? Anyone here has less than uh, 300 people who follow, uh, they interact with on whatever virtual social, social network you have. There's nothing, you know, that's, it's much bigger. So we can interact with people on online much better than we can in real life, right? And there's a few reasons, and it's quite interesting when you think about it. So when you have online communication and you get an email from Joe Schmo, and you can search up and see the conversation history, say, oh, yeah, I know what I was talking about. So you have time to learn what you were talking about, you have time to reply, and you can be selective about your reply. Whereas in real life, you, you know, you, you walk around somewhere and someone bumps to you and say hi. And you have to rely on your memory and instantly remember the person and the context. And then you also, you can't be so selective about what you transmit, right? Um, 
and, and because real life is a much, much richer experience than virtual life. So in virtual life, we can maintain many more social connections, but they are very limited. And there's some good things to it, but we would like to take some of the amazing tools that we created online and bring them to real life. And when you look at this table like here, you realize why one of the reasons that why we got used to sitting in a restaurant with our friends and watch our phones, uh, which is something funny, right? We spend most of our time alone, right? If you're with your friends, why should you watch your, this device? And this device helps you maintain your social interactions in a way that is something funny. And we want to do something better. And we want to leverage all the, all the information that we did online, right? We have lots of virtual friends, lots of photos. We have lots of details in our calendars. And we want to bring all of this to help our social life in real life and be actually social. And um, how would you do it? I'll tell you how we did it. We created a tiny device that sees uh, what's in front of you. And it can recognize people. And it can collect that information and send it to you. And this is a device. It's tiny. It's, uh, it, you know, it fits on your shirt. And it just sits there. And it just looks around. And it fills your, your calendar with the people that you met. If you have a smartwatch, it can even give you notifications. So you say, oh, oh Steffi, you know, now I remember, right? <laughs> and, um, and it does everything. And there's something missing in this picture that you got used to. And that is there's no cloud, because it's a small, clever device that just notices what it sees. It's not a camera. It just notices what it sees, and it keeps track of it. And it tells you to, in your phone. So it's, a, it's your personal device. And it's, a, you know, it's tiny. It has just a camera and a, enough battery to last all day. And it fits your, um, your lapel. And this is how you use it. So here's a typical day for me. So this is all my team. And you know, I don't work anymore. I just manage people now. And uh, I can click on one of those people, Efrat, which is our head uh, developer. And uh, I can see the social time we have together. So you can see I meet her mostly on uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And I, can, uh, and I can see the team members I meet her with. And I, I can get a feel of what's, uh, you know, if is it good or not, and the type of social interactions we have. And I can get all the list of meetings that we had. And I can, I can tag them. I can, I can use them later. And I'll show you a few uh, statistics. For example, last Monday, we met and we talked about future features for the device for the blind. And I have this whole history. And I can also tag the people that I meet so that I, uh, so I can get interesting statistics. For example, uh, work-life balance. So you see, I only work 80% of my time, which sounds pretty bad for most. But uh, I don't have a pointer. But you, know, you see on the left, it's the average for the year is about 80%. But for one week, it's actually decent. I work all week. And on the weekends, I'm with my friends and family. I can also see what fills my time. And this is critical. And like we all know, if, if something can be measured, it can be improved. And it must have happened to you that you got home. It was Friday evening. And you come and you, you fall on the couch. And you say, wow, I had a crazy week. And your wife or spouse would ask, you know, what, what did you do? And you say, I don't know. It was a crazy week. I, I don't know. Now, if you don't know what you did, you don't know what to do better next time. And you can see here, for example, in the top right, I spent uh, in the last, so OK, so about a month ago, we had the holiday season. I was with friends and family. It's good for some metrics. Um, I've been spending more and more time with sales. And uh, I don't like it. I want to do less of that. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on algorithms. We have two devices. One is called My Eye for the Blind, and the other is My Me. And I see I spend more and more time on, on this device, which I like. So I want to do more of that. And I, and, uh, and I can optimize my time in a much better way now, because I know where it's going. And I can be focused all day, all week, on my work, and get this information that I can then apply to make it better for the next time. I can see who fills my time, right? So these are my team members. And I can see that who, if I spend enough time. And I can see, obviously, here I, spend, I don't spend enough time with some of the team members. And next, for the next week, I can make a note. OK, spend more time with those teams that, uh, that make a difference. I can also check. We have two products. I can check how I spend my time, which is fine. And I can also see something interesting that you don't notice every day, especially if you're a busy uh, engineer. And that is the team mood, because the device keeps looking all over, and it notices everyone around. 
And I can keep track of the mood. This is the mood of one of the teams, and it was very busy doing the launch, and you can see on the left, the mood was okay. We have a fantastic team and uh, very high spirits overall, but they were really stressed. So we did a nice morale event, and you can see that a week later, the morale is up. And I can set a reminder, okay, next time the morale goes down, let me know, and I'll decide what to do. Because we know how to do things, and we're humans, and we can do a lot of things. We're amazing creatures. But sometimes we just don't notice. And if we have a device that helps us notice things and gives us useful information, this is extremely useful. I can also uh, keep track of a meeting, for example. So if I, if I notice, uh, if I interact with uh, everyone in the meeting or just with one person. So here is one example of a meeting that you can see I kind of neglected. There was one person that was taking all of the time. Is it a good thing? Do I want more of it or less of it? And I can make clever decisions that I couldn't notice at the time. It's like, it's like having a step counter, right? You could all count steps, but you know, you're never gonna do it. Otherwise, you'll never reach anything else interesting in your life. You need someone or something to keep track of that information that is useful, actionable information that you can rely on and improve uh, your life later. So in a way, we see this as uh, the wearable evolution. And uh, the first wearable that most of us uh, learn about Ah, it's a fig leaf. But the next would be a sandal, and the watch that helps us with ourselves, and the fitness tracker that helps us with ourselves, and the smartwatch that, you know, whatever. And we see the Miami as the next step that helps us with our social life, because we are social creatures, and we want to have the social interactions. And you will never, ever close a very important deal without meeting someone. And you'll meet that person, and you perceive a lot of things. And you'll say, well, you know, it doesn't feel right. You know, it smells off, right? It's something that you can't even express. And you want that social interaction, and you want that face-to-face -face time. But we have a limited capacity in our brains to actually handle it. And with a device like this, we all can be Steffi and Yossi one day, hopefully. So thank you very much. This is, uh, just shows you the, the number of people I met in the past month, which is quite a bit, and it keeps track of it. And with this, I can be actually social. Thank you. <laughs>